Welcome to our new series on prophetic codes. Now, what are prophetic codes? Prophetic codes are different methods or ways to discern what God is saying. There are many codes in the prophetic realm, and if one doesn't work for you, another might. In this series, I will spend time teaching about these prophetic codes, one after the other. If you grasp these concepts, I assure you, you will never be stranded in the prophetic. It's like a man with 10 exit doors in his house. He can never be trapped. If one door is blocked, he has nine others to choose from. Today, we'll discuss the first prophetic code, the prophetic code of music, or the prophetic code of worship. Please like this video to help it reach more people. Thank you. One thing you must understand is that nothing opens up the spirit of a person to receive downloads from the spiritual realm like worship. God inhales worship and breathes out revelations. Many forensic prophets don't take sounds lightly because sounds are instruments for journeying in the spiritual realm. Music is powerful. In Psalms 49-4, the Bible says, I will incline my ear to what God is about to say. The prophet tries to listen to what God is saying in the spiritual realm. The Bible then says, I will disclose my secrets, or in another version, I will disclose my dark sayings on the harp. This means that as the musical instruments were being played, the secrets of the Lord were being revealed. Music is an instrument of journey. As you begin to worship, you lose consciousness of yourself and your environment. When you successfully lose this consciousness, you switch from the physical realm to the spiritual realm. That's why music and worship are essential for accurately discerning what God is saying. In the school of prophets led by Samuel, he trained his prophets using this mystery. No wonder they could create a hub of the supernatural around them. In 1 Samuel chapter 10 verse 5, Samuel told Saul that he would meet a band of prophets coming down from the high place with musical instruments, prophesying. This shows how integral music was to their prophetic process. Even if you're not a seasoned prophet, applying this principle can surprise you with how much God uses you to release prophetic words. Worship is vital. In 2 Kings chapter 3 verse 15, Elisha was upset and not in the mood to prophesy. He asked for a musician, and as the musician played, the hand of the Lord came upon Elisha, and he started prophesying. This is the prophetic code of music. We often ask people about their prayer life or their study life, but we should also ask about their worship life. When you sit in your room and begin to worship, you release sounds to the Lord. Sometimes, you may need to play instrumental worship music. Other times, you may need to sing yourself. You might not have a melodious voice, but it doesn't matter. As you worship, you'll find yourself breaking into revelational experiences. This prophetic code of music and worship is powerful. There are times when other methods might not work, but lifting up a song can unlock the prophetic flow. In those moments, it's as if the angels are waiting for that song, and suddenly, you start hearing the voice of God clearly. Habakkuk was also a man of music. In Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1, he says, I will stand at my watch and station myself on the ramparts. I will look to see what he will say to me. In Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 19, he tells us how he enters into realms with God through string instruments. Music helped him focus and receive visions. Worship purifies your mind and helps you focus. The deeper you focus, the quicker you pick up visions. If you're still distracted, you haven't entered into true focus. Worship removes distractions and pushes you into focus quickly. As you enter this focus, visions are birthed, and your thoughts align with God's thoughts. Music is a mystery in the spirit. In 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 23, David played his string instrument, and a demon was cast out from Saul. These are spiritual mysteries. Music aids meditation and helps you focus on the Lord. Just this morning, I was lying still on my bed, playing worship music, and I was taken from one vision to another. I would see a vision, write it down, and then see another one. These are powerful mysteries in the spirit. In this series, I'm trusting God to help me teach many prophetic codes by the end of the year. I will spend time teaching back to back on these prophetic codes unless the Lord interrupts us. Please share in the comments what stood out for you in this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you, and God bless you.